Good morning, YouTubers. It's uh, a bit early here, so if I sound groggy, like, groggy, I apologize. So I wanted to continue a bit with this history of Brooklyn and New York for those of you who are interested. And um, I had a friend from the Netherlands who told me I had forgot to point out that New York was founded by the Dutch. So I wanted to talk about that. Now, of course, before the Europeans came here, there were Native Americans. So, of course, the Dutch weren't the first here. But the Dutch were the first Europeans here and formed what is today New York. So, back to my not-so-good maps. But, as you can see again, here is Manhattan. And here's Brooklyn. And here is New Jersey. And so you can see there's a lot of water here, and you can see why they would have picked this area to settle. This takes you down and out into the ocean. So it's a great uh, sheltered harbor. Now, the Dutch were the first ones here in about 1613, and they settled. As you can see, they settled in the southern tip of Manhattan, which today is Wall Street. And... Uh, where the World Trade Center and stuff used to be. But they also settled across the river here in Brooklyn, right on both sides of the river. Now, at the time, the area was called the New Netherlands, and New York wasn't called New York, it was called New Amsterdam, and the Dutch spelled it like this, New Amsterdam. And Brooklyn <clears throat> was actually spelled like this, Brooklyn. Uh, there's a town in the Netherlands named Brooklyn, and that's where Brooklyn came from. And there's actually a few bars and things in Brooklyn now called Brooklyn. So, the Dutch had this area set up as a uh, trading post until the English came and took it over in about 1675. And the English renamed it New York. So, a little bit about the five boroughs. The five boroughs, which are Manhattan, Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, and Staten Island, um, they each are a county also in New York State, and some of them have a different name as a county. So, Manhattan, which is a Native American name, there's debates about what it means, but the county is actually called New York County. And Manhattan, has 1.5 million people. Um, the Bronx is called Bronx County and has 1.3 million people. And I believe it's named after there was a Danish farmer named Bronk who owned the area there. So it was called Bronx area. And that's how it became to be called the Bronx. Um, Brooklyn, as I said, comes to the Dutch Brooklyn, is actually called Kings County when this was English. And Brooklyn is the largest of the boroughs with 2.4 million people. Queens is also called Queens County, obviously, after English royalty. And it's the second largest with 2.2 million. And Staten Island, which is Dutch for the state, the state island, is uh, called Richmond County, which again is a much more English name, and has about 400,000 people. So that's the beginnings of New York. The Dutch in New Amsterdam and Brooklyn, the English taking over, forming New York, and our five counties and five boroughs. So I hope you enjoyed that, and next time we're going to come back and talk about the Battle of Brooklyn. Bye!